Welcome to My Hero, My Life, where we talk about everything that has to do with My Hero Academia, from news, theories, to what-if scenarios. And today we're continuing our what-if series, What If Dragon Ball Characters Were In My Hero Academia. Brawly is one of the most popular characters in Dragon Ball. Like Goku and Vegeta, he's an alien from another planet known as a Saiyan. But with the new movie that just came out, there's actually two different versions of him now. Heads up, there may be mild spoilers throughout this video about the new movie, and so if you've yet to see it, I encourage you to click off this, go see the movie, and come right back. With that being said, Brawly has been typically seen as a villain. Before seeing the new film, I wondered how he would have been placed in My Hero Academia. Would he work for All for One, or even replace him? Or, you know, would he be working for him instead? Maybe he would have gathered, you know, the League of Villains. Maybe he would be Shigaraki's mentor. Or maybe he'd be all for one's ace in the hole. You know, when he needs something done, he can, you know, call on Brawly. He could be all for one's enforcer. In those original movies, he had a deep connection to Goku. And he just wanted to kill him so bad. So he should have that with some sort of character. If Brawly is older then I would imagine that it would be something to do with All Might or Eraserhead. But if he was a student's age, then it makes more sense for it to be Deku, specifically because Brawly was against the main character in Dragon Ball. So he should be the same in My Hero Academia. Now, if Brawly was older, I like the idea of him kind of being really uh, having this issue with the Eraserhead. Mainly because I feel like all throughout My Hero Academia, we see a lot more character development in All Might um, compared to Eraserhead. And so this would be just a really cool arc um, to be able to learn more about Eraserhead. Maybe Eraserhead was the first person to get Brawly locked up. Or maybe Eraserhead and him used to be classmates, but something that Eraserhead did made Brawly snap and go evil. Now, if Brawly was younger, then I see him being on the Vanguard Action Squad. He joins it mainly to be able to fight Deku. In Dragon Ball, Brawly hates Goku because he made him cry. So Deku has to have done something to Brawly in his childhood. I would imagine that it wasn't on purpose and most likely was something innocent. What if it's revealed that there was this huge debate between Deku and Brawly about All Might? And Deku ultimately wins and this causes Brawly to, to never be able to forgive him. Now this actually sounds pretty stupid of a reason for someone uh, like Brawly to become a rampaging monster. But if you look back at the source material, you know, the whole reason why Brawly hated Goku in the first place was kind of stupid. So that's kind of where I'm going. But that's all from the aspect that if we look at Brawly from a villain, but you know, what's really intriguing with the new movie is that Brawly really wasn't a villain anymore. He was being used and was completely misunderstood. It actually reminded me a lot of Todoroki. Think about it. Todoroki was designed by his father to become the new number one hero. He personally trained him and hoped that one day Todoroki would surpass him. In the new movie, Brawly was trained by his father to surpass him and take revenge on King Vegeta. Both characters had fathers that trained them. They both had fathers that had their own personal goals for them. And honestly, both characters are powerful in their own universes. And we can both agree that at different times, they're both misunderstood. So if Brawly was in My Hero Academia, I would imagine it would be quite similar to Todoroki's story. He has a controlling father who has his own specific plans for him. And Brawly has to reject these ideals and do his own thing. Like maybe going to UA and becoming a pro hero. So maybe Paragus, his father, is a villain. And he wants Brawly to become an up-and-coming crime lord. And in defiance, Brawly goes to UA High. Out of respect for his father, he doesn't tell anyone who his father is, and it brings this interesting dynamic to the series as his villain father tries to pressure him into becoming a villain, but at the same time, he's trying to do his hero studies and not let anyone know uh, his father's deep, dark secret. You know, in the original Brawly movies, he had already obtained his legendary Super Saiyan form, but in the new one, he had yet to obtain it. But what was most interesting 
All it took was a crazy long fight against warriors who had powers that were way above his to kind of unlock this deep power. He was literally learning as he fought. He was getting stronger with every punch. So this got me thinking about his quirk. What if Brawley's quirk was that he got stronger while he fights? Every punch, every kick, every blow would allow Brawley to learn and grow to be stronger in an instant. We could also look at his quirk from a different perspective. What if it was based on his legendary Super Saiyan form? What if his quirk was to change his appearance and get all bulky and more powerful that way? Or what if Brawley shot a mouth blast just like he did in the movie? So he can shoot out these huge energy beams right from his mouth. We could even add in, you know, the different kinds of blasts that he throws from his hands. Maybe Brawley can project energy beams, balls, or blasts from any part of his body. But you know what? Regardless of the route we would go, if Brawley was a villain, he would be a formidable foe. And if he was a student, he would definitely be a prodigy of some sort. Brawley has always been one tough guy, and he would be the same in My Hero Academia. Well, that's all I have for this installment of what if Dragon Ball characters were in My Hero Academia. But I want to know what your thoughts and ideas on Brawley being in My Hero Academia. Would it look the same as, as these ideas, or do you have your own ideas and opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my videos. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.